I love yes. your outfit. It's beautiful. Look at the jump fast. Probably. So nice to meet you. We'll see you later on. <laughs> Her whole head moves. It's Her so mouth moves. It's amazing. The eyes. I have full body chills. This is what I wanted. This is what we've been wanting. So cool. <laughs> We're like wondering how this was gonna work. Okay. Bright Suns, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today, we are at Walt Disney World at the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. We're about to go into space and go on board the Halcyon. We're gonna be there for two days, two nights. We're gonna explore our room. We're gonna explore the ship. We're gonna have some food. It's we're gonna, gonna do it all. Yeah. We're literally gonna film so much inside of there, so you are not gonna wanna miss this. <laughs> Come with us on this adventure. May the force be with you. Let's get going. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. My name is Brooke and it is an absolute honor to welcome you. It is a part of our CSL uh, policy and regulation that we ask that you keep these on with you at all times. Um, they're an essential part to your voyage. They also serve as your room key. I love that they're playing the Star Wars music. It's got me emotional, like I want to cry and I'm holding back tears just because we've been waiting for this moment for so long and we're finally here. Before we go inside, we do want to say thank you to Disney for inviting us to this press preview. We did pay in full for a voyage on the inaugural cruise, and you'll see that coming up, so if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Yeah, we're going to have tons and tons of Star Cruiser footage coming your way. Yeah, so you're not going to want to miss it. We're going to go inside right now! Thank you. Thank you. My honor. Welcome to Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. We are excited to welcome you aboard to begin your fully immersive experience and your very own Star Wars adventure. As your adventure progresses, there will be special, highly dramatic moments that will ask for everyone's attention. They will be signaled with a ship-wide display that looks like this. In the unlikely event of an actual emergency, the emergency lights will illuminate. All show elements will pause and a pre-recorded voice announcement will commence. Attention, attention. An emergency has been reported in this building. This is an actual emergency. This is not a drill or part of the show. In the event you are not able to reach the hallway exits, your room is equipped with an emergency rescue area. In order to access this area, first turn the handle and pull gently towards you. This will reveal the emergency rescue area. Wait here, call 911, and provide emergency services with your cabin number. This is crazy. I just like, I have to pinch myself. I can't believe that this is actually happening. Wonderful. All right, I will follow all of you in if you'd like to go inside. <gasps> oh my, all oh, of our stuff's there already, too, wow. Whoa! Oh my god, the toilet! Oh my god, there's a little bottle of water! Wow! Oh my gosh. Insane. We made it! Look at the bunk beds! 
Yes! As well as over here is D3, which is that drawer we were talking about earlier. She's going to be in cabin for you guys. Um, you can go ahead and press this button and then tap your data band. And she'll start interacting with you all. It is a little, like if you move. Yeah. Look at all the other ships. All right, let's give a tour of the room. Let's do some exploring. So this is the bed that Kitra and I are both going to be sleeping on. I think it might be a king size bed. I love the bedding. So nice. The real question is the bunks. Reza, how tall are you? 5'10". It's a lot bigger than it looked in the it photos. Pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Comforter. That's Ooh. branded. That's cool. I want to buy that. <laughs> I'm fully extended and I fit. Yay! With room to spare. Yeah, so I think if you're like six feet tall, you could fit in there. Yay. If I was a foot and a half taller, I have to bend my knees. Wow, How's, is the mattress comfy? Yeah. Yeah. If you're wondering, there are two plugs on the side of each bed, and then there's a light switch, and then there's like a Star Wars style remote. I found something. <gasps> I know where I'm sleeping tonight. This is where I'll be storing all of my coaxium. <laughs> <laughs> so you could fit one person there, two people on this bed, and then two people there, so that's... Yeah, you could split it with five people. Oh, oh! That turns into like a little desk area. And storage. This probably goes into the wall. Yeah. So they, they make use of the space pretty nicely. Now the moment of truth, let's go check out the bathroom, because I am very curious about that. Oh, look at this mirror! So this is right outside of the bathroom. It has some really nice lighting, you know, for doing your makeup, that sort of thing. I like this. Yeah, I like how the lights are kind of like the Death Star lights. And then check out these little cups. <laughs> They're like little tin cups that you could put water in. But it does say this bottle is available for use while on board and may be refilled in the atrium. Wow, this bathroom is huge. Usually on cruise ships are pretty small, but it looks like we have a full walk-in shower. Oh yeah, this is massive. Yeah, the Disney Cruise Lines, they usually do a split bathroom, but this one is one bathroom, so yeah. that's interesting. And then, of course, you have your, oh my god, it actually says H2O Plus on there. Yeah. You have your body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, and this is the stuff that you can find on the cruise line. You can find it in all the resorts. It is the best. It's the best in the galaxy. It, it really, it must be. Otherwise, why would they be using it here? There's a rainfall shower. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of the best showers like out of any of the Disney properties. And then also, if you don't want that, they also have a little wand. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mirror here with the Death Star lighting, a normal sink, some more soaps. Yeah, soap and body lotion. And you got a Halcyon logo towel down here. This is a thermal blower. What is that? <laughs> Nice. Foaming bubble mask. Oh my god, I know what we're Ooh, doing tonight. Wow, luxury. Two more foaming bubble masks. <laughs> Face cloths. Oh my gosh. Please. Removes removes makeup and impurities on all galactic species with one swipe. That is awesome. I love that they provide that. Foaming bubble mask? We're doing that later, whether you like it or not. Now let's check out the space toilet because we know you guys want to know what it's like. I love the design. We were having discussions earlier this morning, like what is it going to look like? It has a nice round shape on the bottom. But look at this little detail on the toilet paper. There's a little sticker. It's nice in here. I love this mirror. I like the stripes on the wall. The stripes. I love like all the colors inside of the room. So you know what we got to do? We got to do the flush test. Let's do it. Yeah. I'll give it like three out of five theaters. I was theaters. expecting like an airplane bathroom or a cruise ship bathroom where it's like... <laughs> yeah. So the screen into space looks a lot better with the lights out. I don't know if it comes across well on camera because <laughs> Space 220 did not look good on camera. I will say that it is a little disappointing. It has like this like magnified kind of look to it. That kind of like when you move side to side it gives a weird perspective shift. But you can see, I don't even know what ships those are. 
or what planet is below. Is that Batu? I don't know. Alright, we're we'll gonna check out the storage situation. Got some shelves with a safe and a cooling unit. Cooling supply unit. I bet you that's like a refrigerator in our planet. Something like that, yeah. Extra pillow and comforter. Two bathrobes. Do the bathrobes have the Halcyon logo on them? I don't think so. Ah! Uh, I'm sure if they did, people would probably stay. Yeah. <laughs> but they do feel... I mean, I'm going to wear one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool that it comes with the other... I guess that's for the pull-out bed, right? Yeah. And pillow. I noticed these buttons right by the front door. One, I, it looks like it's a lock, and then the one, one below it looks like a little... A little robot maid. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you push that button if you need your room turned over or something or so I'm guessing red means like do not disturb and then blue means disturb <laughs> or means clean my room. Yeah. That's cool. I love that it shows it out here. And then right over here of course there's the sink with this wonderful Death Star lighting and there's some hand soap and body lotion and a bunch of towels. The cool thing is the towels actually have the logo on them as well. I just love like the little details like that. I love the sign. Personal transport docking charging. I love that it's in Arabic. Everything is in Arabic yeah. and English. But it's cool they've designated this like area for charging. Yeah. Ooh, look at the little... That's cool. So they have stairs, but they also have the lifts that we Took on the way up here. So special credentials required. I tried accessing this with my wristband. It's asking for an access code, which I don't know. But if I hit try webin three eight, it's all I don't know. But if I do main menu, do the galaxy map. Next or, stop is Coruscant. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Chandrilla is here. And I also noticed right next to the elevators, they show you where you are in the ship, and there's a listing in Arabic and English. So where are we going now? We're going to the dining room. We're going to the dining room to enjoy the lunch buffet because that is the first thing you always got to do when you <laughs> you join a cruise. <laughs> So every day on the ship, there's a lunch and breakfast buffet. It's different items every day. They're served in like a bento box style, like plated. So you actually serve yourself. You know, there's no like waiting for a crew member to hand you stuff. And it's all really interesting, weird looking stuff. Yeah, it all looks like kind of small portions too, like tapas style. have a blue and green milk on the tap so you could like mix it if you wanted look at that there's a lot of food at this lunch buffet and we got the items that looked the best to us our server said that her favorite was the fire melted cheese takeaway with red fruit soup dipper and I've heard this is kind of like grilled cheese sandwich with like tomato soup on our planet. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's like a bubble bread. Oh, and like the cheese is inside the bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? It's exactly the kind of like food I wanted at Galaxy's Edge or the Star Cruiser. It looks otherworldly, but it tastes somewhat familiar. <laughs> but this is awesome. I'll give it a five out of five, Peter. Wow. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so this is actually called the green leaf salad and it's red quinoa, amethyst croutons, parma cheese round, creamy, chandrillion green vegetable dressing. So what is an amethyst cr crouton? Is Don't what worry I'm about it, just try the single crouton. Okay. 
Isn't that like that must come from the Wonka factory? That what does it pumpkin. taste like? I don't know. It just tastes like it almost tastes like a sweet bread. Surprisingly delicious. Four out of five kitchens. I would definitely get this again. So Star Wars got all my emails and made this dessert for me. It's actually called a sunflower butter and jelly. This looks like that bread that Ray had, like the, yeah. the quarter portion. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an intergalactic, uncrushable peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Amazing. Look at about four out of five feet. One of the most colorful dishes for lunch today is this blue bantha milk fruit whip. What is that? <laughs> Looks like that's butter, right? Oh my god, is there a glitter on that? Yeah. Wow. That looks really strange and cool. It's like blueberry. Hard to describe. Four, four to five people. <laughs> Creamy, it's sweet, now, it's. I, we're gonna have a hard time describing this. Yeah. This is really good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing that I'm gonna try is called the tikka tip yup chicken with paneer cheese. And it's a little flatbread. Seems like it might be like a tiki masala chicken with that nice paneer like soft cheese that you could get at Indian food restaurants. Oh, look at that cheese bowl. It's like cheese on top of cheese. This is delicious. If this is just like the lunch food, I can't imagine the dinner. What I love about this is like, it's not too crazy. Like obviously it looks amazing, but like it's flavors that you know and that you love. I also got like this vegan mousse thing and something with ham in the middle. But this just honestly just tastes like tiki masala with delicious cheese on top. I'm giving this a, a five out of five. This is my favorite thing that I've tried so far. Another thing that caught my eye is the daily sweet bread. It doesn't tell you what it tastes like. <laughs> a lot of the stuff here, you kind of have to be adventurous. But this kind of looks like purple lava or something. It's no bread. It's a cookie. It has powdered <laughs> sugar on top of it. It's very good. It's not my favorite thing here. It probably looks better than it tastes. I'd still give it like three and a half out of five years. The pork and cheese takeaway is amazing. It's so simple. It's literally just cheese, a bunch of pork, and then this amazing bread with some kind of galactic sauce on there. Very simple. This, this is another five out of five for me. Okay, so we got the two non-alcoholic specialty drinks that are available at lunch. The blue milk citrus fizz is lychee, lime, lemon lime soda, and blue milk sorbet. Blue milk the sorbet. The muha is watermelon, herbal garden blend, mint, and sparkling bubbles. Yeah, it's like blue milk sorbet, like frozen. Oh. A giant chunk of. <laughs> so cool. Citrus. <laughs> That's the word of the day, citrusy. That is good, that's intense though. Three and a half, let's say. Very sweet. That's much more my style. Not as intense, but very refreshing. It's like a carbonated flavored water, basically, but not overly sweet. So basically what you're saying is you like boring drinks. I like, I have a refined palate. This is a four out of five for me. On the way here, there was a, a kiosk and I didn't have the access code. And I think because I did that, I was contacted by this character well, I'm really curious, so I'm gonna click, do you know how to get in? I can only help him if he helps me. So now I'm on a mission to go find this ship console. It's crazy, he's We're... already been contacted by someone. I know, we need to... No time to eat. <laughs> no time to eat, we gotta... Well, we gotta get going. We gotta get going pretty soon. I just finished my meal and I got contacted by the cruise director, Lenka Mock. We were making small talk and I now have the option to answer her with one of four or five different things. Uh -huh. It seems to me, in the game that is here on the, uh, the Black of Star Cruiser, there's four different paths. So there's the Jedi, there's like the underworld, like smuggler, and then there's the Empire or First Order, and then there's also the Resistance Rebel. What should I choose? I think wearing this, we gotta go with the Resistance, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna go Resistance this time. Oh, sorry, I've never seen it from that angle. <laughs> this is so interesting. Where, where am I looking? Look right here. Okay. Yeah. Now what? 
You look beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. This is just a, to capture your image. Oh, yeah. A hollow skin. A hollow skin, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> How will I get that? It will be broadcast on a, a planet called Earth. Yeah. On the thing they call the internet. If you go to YouTube, we could look for Ordinary Adventures. We're going to broadcast it there. Is it like, where can I, how do I do that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I love how there's all these huge windows in the atrium and you can look out into space. There's like a surprising amount of other ships out there right now, just kind of cruising by. We're right next to the, a model of the Halcyon, which is really cool because on every cruise ship they have a giant model of the ship so i think it's really fun that they have this here but the real reason that we came back here is because we're going to take a tour of the ship and this is the meeting point so we're just waiting for the tour to start you got into the restricted systems i have access to the engineering room so I unlocked the access codes that were transmitted to me. So now I have to go to the engineering room and relieve the carbon freeze valve. I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of the history and the story behind um, our ship. This is our model of the Halcyon. It has 13 decks and 13 engines. And a lot of people say this is an oddly specific number. Um, that is because our founder, who's a little Enzelin, he's about a foot tall, his name is Chuck Jabour. Contrary to what a lot of people believe about the number 13, he thought it was a lucky number specifically for him. So when he was building his ship, he built it with 13 decks and 13 engines. However, even though there's 13 decks, only decks 4 through 7 are accessible to passengers. So a fun fact about our hyperspace compass is it did originally belong to Shakti 4. Even though he had better technology available to him at the time, because this was already considered an ancient relic when it belonged to him, he still chose to use this as his compass of choice just because he liked how classic and reliable it was. If you stand directly in front of it and look at it head on, you will see something that might be a little familiar. Um, it is actually our Chandrilla Starlines logo. Oh yeah. It's my favorite fun fact. <laughs> we will go to this planet simulator. Oh, hi, bright sun. All right, so a couple of fun facts about our climate simulator. Let's start with the most basic of them. Of course, this is a climate simulator. What does that mean? It is a room that actively simulates the climate of Batu at all times. So if it's bright, sunny, and warm on Batu, it'll be bright, sunny, and warm in here. If it's chilly and rainy on Batu, it'll be chilly and rainy in here. It's the way it works. Also lining the walls of our climate simulator is plants from across the galaxy. Uh, we have plants from all kinds of fun planets, including Toydaria, Naboo, Batu, Chandrilla, all that good stuff. Um, we do have some signs. If you can read Arabesh, you're welcome to read about them. How funny is the climate sim simulator? This is amazing. She said there was even plants from Naboo out here. I love this. So originally it was not a brig. It was actually a place to store credits back when we were a um, like a casino lounge vessel. Um, and at the end of the night, after a long day of gambling and a long day of play, passengers would come here to this locked door to cash out. And of course, the Empire being the Empire, when they took over, they changed it into a brig. Um, it's a place they would throw insubordinate stormtroopers or unruly passengers. Um, but we no longer use it as, okay. <laughs> I was just about to talk about how we don't use it as a brig anymore. Um, but here we are. <laughs> um, our lovely passengers ask me about the engineering room. So the engineering room is right here. Um, you will only get in if you have special access granted to you. Um, not sure why that would be of interest to many passengers, but to some it might be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to act natural, guys, so. Okay. But play it cool. Play cool. <laughs> this is cool. I think this is my favorite cruise that we've ever done so far. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, passengers. How did you get in here? Um, I'm supposed to be here. Yeah. You're supposed to be here. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. I run this place actually. Well, my uncle did. Wow, do you know Mozak, our chief engineer? Of course. Oh Mozak. my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. Wow, all right. Remind me where the carbon freeze 
Yeah, Please. that's where you put it. Ah, uh, right. Oh, oh, perfect. Yeah. I thank forgot you. to do this this morning, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Next time you see me, mention that you've seen Gaia's legendary performance on Ryloth. That way I know it's you. But I'm glad that you're here because the engineering room isn't running efficiently and I need all the help that I can get. So anything that's blinking, like the service systems right over here, uh -huh. that means that we need help. So you'll have to work together to pull the levers at the same time to pull oh, them efficiently. Oh, cool. Yes. Let's, I think we could help. Let's do that. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Do we get it all? No. Oh. sorts of little areas here that need work. What's happening guys? Yes, we're almost there. What are, what are we doing? We're just build this up. We're powering this, this up. I don't know what this is, but there's a meter over here. So it's a game. It's really cool. We have to power this up. Middle or top? mechanical system. I love that it's not touchscreen because Star Wars doesn't have touchscreen so it's all like buttons oriented. This is cool. Yeah. This is really cool. It's just full of a bunch of puzzle games to play. Clearly some of us are smarter than others. <laughs> it takes a few tries to get it right. You can spend like an hour or two. In yeah, it. I'm thoroughly entertained. What's down there? I think this is a way into the holding cell. Oh wow. Here I go. <laughs> Why would they have a secret entry to the brig? This is all super cool, but it's already four o'clock and I feel like, I mean, I picked my allegiance with the resistance, I think, but I haven't had any storylines like Reza, so I feel like I, I don't know, I'm anxious. <laughs> like I haven't gotten stuff done yet. So this is the assistant cruise director. It is. What's his name? SK620. Six, SK620. SK620. And I'm Lanka Mock, the cruise director. Oh, you're the cruise director. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Nice to finally meet you. Nice to find, what is your name? Peter Surratt. Peter, it's a pleasure to have you here. Now, um, I'd love to ask you a question. Yeah. If, when you get to Batu, where is one of the most, the first places you might want to go? I, I want to see the ruins. That's what I want to see. Ah, excellent. Good. All right, good to know. Yeah. Check your data pad. We'll talk soon. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. So I've been talking to Wanka Mock on the data pad app. And last time I talked with her, she was telling me about Batu, and we were talking about the Rebel Alliance. So when I talked to her here, she was like, Peter, when you go to Batu, where do you want to go? And I was like, well, to see the ruins, which is where the resistance has a base. So I think this, my storyline has begun. God. What is your name? Oh, Oh, nice to meet you. Reza, this is incredible. This is incredible. What is your favorite place? What was your favorite thing to do on the health yard? I understand. This is the this is the keyboardist that performs with Gaia. You play like a, a piano? Yeah. It's, I, I can't wait to. Are you performing tonight? Okay, we'll see you at the, uh, the show. Bye. I want to stay in character. I want to pretend that this is real, but can we talk about how cool that mask was? That mask was incredible. Do you have your data band? Yes. Would you mind? Do you have a feeling? <laughs> Yes. Make sure you keep an eye on your data pads. Okay. If you say so. SK is an excellent judge of character, so. 
I trust them very much. It's funny, I was just like saying how I was kind of bummed that I haven't had any character interactions yet. And now within a period of like a few minutes in the atrium, I've had so many Star Wars character interactions. It's amazing. Kitchen's in the bathroom and she's missing everything. So there is nobody in the bathroom right now. So I just wanted to kind of show you what it's like. So let's have a little tour. Let me show you. First of all, this like gigantic mirror. I love the marble countertops. They have like some gold specks in them. Gorgeous. Pretty standard. Love the doors, very Star Wars. And then of course, you know, each individual stall. Pretty basic, but I just love this mirror. I just like to come in here and like, look at how cool my outfit looks. <laughs> You know that we couldn't do a video without going to the bathroom. It's like our thing. We gotta show you what it looks like. So I almost went up to this Twi'lek that was walking around. Turns out, just a guest. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, was her name Gaia? No. No? But you missed, you missed the keyboardist from the show tonight. Walking around, she's incredible. I hope she comes, well, I'll see her tonight. You gotta meet her. I know, I had to use the refreshers, I'm sorry. You know me, typical me. I'm always in the refreshers when something exciting happens. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have time to look at everything in the store. We're gonna come in here really quick. But what is this? Oh, what? So it has the Chandrilla logo. It's a special lightsaber? Yeah, and wow. then you get, I don't know, like, how you can customize it with these like symbols. Oh, you put it on the button. Right, but I don't know like, like is it your initial like, oh. but it, it comes with all of them in the case, see that? But it's oh, a so special it's... legacy lightsaber that's 170 credits. Wow. We were thinking that we could do a special giveaway of this exclusive legacy lightsaber. So stick around till the end of the video to find out how to win. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go talk to her. Does she speak? Our language? No, you just gotta like try to read between the lines. Uh -huh. I just wanted to tell you, I am so excited for your show tonight. Ooh. I was looking forward to seeing you, and I didn't expect you to see you in the gift shop. I love your outfit. It's beautiful. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yes, I need to like, I need an upgrade though. It's got your Oh, yeah. One that the shirt fast Yeah, probably. It's so nice to meet you. We'll see you later on. Her whole head moves. It's her so mouth moves. It's amazing. The eyes. I have full body chills. This is what I wanted. This is what we've been wanting. So cool. Oh my god. <laughs> We're like wondering how this was gonna work. Okay. They have SK620. Okay. Oh my god, they got an action figure version of him. Why didn't we pack enough room in our luggage? Look at this. Is this the ship model? I think oh. this might be the ship model. That's the droid right there. Okay, we're gonna have to come back a little bit later and do like a full tour. Yeah, there's I, too much stuff here to do a tour. And... I, I see so much stuff that I want, that's the problem. What happens if we can't fit the stuff in our luggage? So we do have actually a business deal going with some of Hondo's associates that is available to ship to your home. Well, okay, is it just like a small fee or is it? Yes. Free? Okay. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on you. Of course. Uh, well, my friend. Good to see you. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Is it all good evening? I've already lost track I know, of the day. you lose the time. <laughs> That's, That's very true. true. When you're in space, it's all just shades of gray. It really. is true. And what is your name? My name's Kitro. It's so nice to meet Kitro. you. Kitro, what a beautiful name. Thank Captain you. Captain Riola Keevan, a pleasure to have you it here. It's so nice to meet you. Uh, I, it is delightful to be met. I am glad we have reinstated everything on the ship. Yes. A pleasure. Yes, nice to meet you. This is insane. Did you see the droid up there? Yeah. Oh my god. It's so cool. I'm having a blast already. Did you see yes. the keyboardist? The Rodian key keyboardist? No. Where, where, is she, where is she? I don't... She was around. She was, she was around. She's so freaking cool. Yeah. Wait, so this is your first day on the house? Uh, yeah, this is my first day. I'm, I'm learning, uh, learning the ropes a little bit. But, That's uh, a lot of pressure. But I, I have help, and uh, I have some friends who are also uh, mechanics as well. So I'm hoping that uh, yeah, they'll we, be. Yeah, we went down and helped a little bit. Yeah. So. Wait, why, why, why do you? Are you into the engineering then? Yes. But that's that's for crew only. Why have? Oh well, I was supposed to be there. 
who sent you in there though? I don't understand. Uh, uh, what he was his name? Mustache. The mustache. I forget his name. He's got a mustache. Yes. Oh, nice to meet you. First day. Oh. Uh, first day. <laughs> <laughs> first day. Welcome to the ship. Hey, um, I forgot to play the request. Do you mind? There's a docking request. Uh, do you mind checking the hand up for me? Yeah, uh, I don't know if I have the credentials, but I'll... Uh, <laughs> you, should, uh, you should be clear. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so nice to... Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm sure we'll I'm see sorry, you around. Like, no worries. I I what do you do here in the house? Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a saber trainer. She guides the ship with integrity, a steady hand, and the ferocious calm of a sleeping loft cat. <laughs> <laughs> It is my honor to introduce to you Captain Riola Keevan. Well, thank you for your enthusiasm. My advice to all of you is to never wait a sleeping moth cat. Now, it is my honor and my privilege, friends, to welcome you here aboard the house. We have a very exciting voyage planned for you. More on that in a moment. But first, our top priority here aboard the Halcyon as we sail is the safety and well-being of our passengers. In the event of an unplanned situation, we will activate this muster alert signal. Attention, this is a shipwide alert. Please report to your muster stations immediately. Both of these things will happen at the same time. And when they do, you will make your way here to the atrium and to your now assigned muster stations. Friends, travelers, my young adventurers, <laughs> welcome aboard the Star Cruiser Halcyon! <laughs> well, my friends, I believe we should get this voyage started, don't you? Yeah! Crew, let's prepare for our toast. Here is to our story. Here is to our journey. Here is to Captain. our new ship's mechanic, Sammy, who was supposed to be in the engineering room. Look, I just need a minute of your time. Uh, Sammy, Lenka, if you will give one announcement to these people, tell them about Batu. Batu is fantastic. The last stop to wild space. And the best way to get there is through hyperspace. Who's excited about hyperspace? <laughs> Work with 
Jesus, and you will be rewarded. No! <laughs> <laughs> now, I need someone to service my ship. You look capable, but not so unskilled as you'll make a mess of things. You may need schematics, you'll find them on this basic card. It's a side class. Side class military trends. Oh, sorry. No, I, I used to build ships on Corellia, so I can handle a shuttle. Forgive me. We've interrupted your little party. Please continue. I have been remiss. I need to show you to your accommodations. Lanka does have one more announcement for everyone. Please follow me. Contact, yeah. and he wanted to go on a little walk and talk. So he grabbed me, we walked away from the crowd, and he gave me a little bit of information, but I need to rendezvous with him right over there at 5.15. To the handle this, because I've got to find out where she is to okay. get her. Got it. Uh, listen, I can really use all of her help. Yes? With mine? Yeah, yeah please. Uh, please. Um, okay, can you hold? I'll hold the All right, if we can, go ahead if you want to. 
Yeah. Going there. Very good. I think that was Gaia's luggage, the superstar, pop star. Yeah. So her luggage is here, but I don't think she's here yet. She has so many more bags, more bags than us. <laughs> what do you think's in those bags? I don't know. I'm try I was trying to scan it before they left. I'm going to be honest right now. This is amazing, overwhelming, but also chaotic to the point that like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like extreme anxiety because like things are happening everywhere and I'm missing it. I'm, it's not the fear of missing out. I am missing out everywhere. I feel like I'm not a part of everything. I want to be a part of everything. Anyone ever told you that? I love your colors. <laughs> oh. Oh. So exciting. I don't know what that did, but so nice to meet you. Maybe he gave you some secret resistance you think information so? like he gave to me. Okay. This is like, you're right. This is like very overwhelming. There seems, there's a lot going on. Like we just saw like a whole group of people running after the engineer and I, I wanted so badly to run after him and then I was like, they were like, gone. Captain. Lieutenant. But thank you, I appreciate the promotion. Yeah, well this is just a passenger vessel. I don't think you need to be here. Oh, but I do. As I said before, there is rumors of resistance activity. You, you don't need to keep on walking. I'm just after. following your leads. You seem to have some very pressing thoughts and opinions, and I just <laughs> frankly want to get to the bottom of your motivation. I, I just want to enjoy this this cruise. And, and same, same. Frankly, I'm enjoying it. Until rather recently, when that enjoyment seemed to just halt. Why did it? I wonder. What's your name? My, my name's Reza. Reza. Yeah. Be sure to remember that. Yeah. This is Reza. He is a passenger and he, he seems to believe this is strictly a passenger vessel. So I assure you, Reza needs to be treated with the utmost respect and courtesy. So Unlike myself, who apparently is an unwelcome visitor. Yes. Would you say the same? Not at all, sir. You're part of Thank you, Kevin. Holy order. I'll need to go check on my quarters. Last I checked, it was not suitable. We had enough. Oh, girl. Maybe we should go in there. Made lieutenant. Not so favorable list. Oh no. Well, good thing you said his name, not his real name. <laughs> you did. Don't tell him, wait, yeah. don't tell him. See, I was thinking on my feet. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> What's that alien's name again? The one I just walked by? Wani. Wani. I'm gonna go talk to Wani again. He's amazing. One of the places that we haven't really gotten a chance to go inside of yet is the Sublight Lounge, which is the bar the fun lounge where you could get cocktails and play hollow sabak. Let's go see what it's like in there. Hi, I'm Julia. Good seeing you again. See you later. Katui? Is that the alien? <laughs> Love her. Oh wow, it's really small in here. So this is the hollow sabak table. You can't really tell on camera, but those cards right there look like they're holograms in the middle. So here's a look at some of the cocktails that you can get here at the Sublight Lounge. All of them seem to be like inspired by different planets. We might not be able to get all of them this trip, but like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're actually coming back on March 1st. 
So whatever we don't accomplish now, we'll get the rest later. I ordered myself the Silver Sea Martini. This is gin, lemon, mint, ginger, and passion fruit. And the reason why I ordered this one is because that little creature, the hydrogeme, in the little tank over there, actually helps stir this drink together. So if you see the swirling liquid in the middle, that's actually because of him swimming around. So, you know, I had to get that one. Oh my god! Silver Sea Martini. Wow! I forgot you said with the sparkles. Space dust. Space yeah. dust. Okay. She recommended this, this one to us earlier, and I can see why. My honor. If there's anything else I can grab you, just let me know. Thank you. First order in here, so I gotta drink this quick. Wow, this is like surprisingly good. It's sweet. You can taste the passion fruit. And then look at all that glitter. Like, I'm drinking so much. Oh, so sorry, space dust, space dust. There's so much in there. This is beautiful, delicious. This gets a five out of five. Starting off the drinks with a bang. Ooh. Hey guys, I, I heard about the resistance. Have you heard about it? No? Can you talk? That's affirmative. <laughs> well, I, I know where they're hiding out. Is your allegiance with the First Order? Yeah, it, it, it's a planet called... Have you pledged your loyalty to the First Order? I have, I'm telling you that they That's are hiding good. out... See that it stays that way. Nope. What? <laughs> I couldn't even hear what you were asking him, but he was not pleased with you. I was trying should've to tell offered, them. You should have offered him some of my uh, martini. It would have calmed him down. I mean, I wasn't really going to rat out the resistance. I was just like, yeah, you know, we got to keep it cool. One of the more interesting sounding drinks on the menu is the Hoff Ice Breaker. And this is vodka, lemon, pure cane sugar, and vanilla lemon foam. Mm. And that sugar is actually some ice from the, the planet Hoff. Yeah. You see that on the top there? Yeah. <laughs> Break it and put it in there. Oh my god, you look so cool with those glasses with the drink. Is it good? It's very lemony. That foam is interesting. <laughs> the hot ice has like a little bit of a sweetness to it. You're getting a little bit of the foam in your, your beard. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Four, uh, you know, no, four and a half out of five beers. I, I, do I have something on my nose? No, you're good. Oh. Okay. Is that vanilla foam? Yeah, it's like a... That's the one with the vanilla one? I love your performance. party here in the Sublight Lounge. It was someone's birthday and like they put some, some kind of intergalactic birthday song on. <laughs> yeah. It would be cool to celebrate your birthday. No, I was just thinking, I'm like, should we say it's our birthday? We can't lie. <laughs> Only lie to the first door. That's true. One of the cool things about the Sublight Lounge is they actually make all the cocktails here. Like there's bartenders there shaking them up as opposed to Oga's Cantina where everything is pre-made. And I feel like you can really taste the difference. Like I just took a sip of Peter's drink and it was like, I could taste the vodka in it. Which uh, honestly I wasn't uh, expecting. So it's yeah. a pleasant surprise. And now's your chance to find out how you can win this exclusive Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Legacy lightsaber. If you want to win it, you're going to have to comment below with what you are most looking forward to on the Galactic Star Cruiser. And we will pick a winner in two weeks. We also have a couple more adventures coming. We have a lot more adventures. We, I'm gonna be honest with you, we're filming this on our final night and we have filmed so much footage. Like, you're gonna wanna subscribe, you're gonna wanna see what this is all about. Yeah. If you wanna see the other Galactic Star Cruiser videos, we'll put them right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons, that includes... B. Jordan, Heather Price, Stephen Bishop, and Vacation Mode. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. 
and may the force be with you.